So for the month of February, I decided to challenge myself to draw a painting every single day. Last year I got really, really discouraged and I felt like I couldn't make anything, draw anything, paint anything unless it was marketable, unless I could somehow sell it and make money off of it. And that really just put a damper on my creativity and I just was feeling really, really low. So for 2024, I'm hoping to change that and I wanted to start off with February, a painting a day, and that doesn't need to be marketable. And I'm really, really excited for the growing season and starting my vegetable garden. So I thought, why not draw or paint some vegetables? So every day for the month of February, I'm going to be drawing and painting a different vegetable, probably in kind of alphabetical order. So we're starting with A with asparagus. So I'm starting off using watercolor pencil. I used to use graphite pencils, but you couldn't really erase them once you had painted over them. And I'm starting off with some contrasting colors. I'm not just using green. Um, when I was looking at my reference images to kind of figure out what asparagus looked like, because like what I always say is you don't actually know what anything looks like. If you can imagine things in your head, and when you try to draw that, if it's something that exists in real life, you're probably not remembering it exactly as it is. So you should always look up reference images to really help you get an accurate image. So while I was looking at my reference images for asparagus, I noticed that there was a lot of red and blues in there as well. Not just uh, stereotypical and classic green and yellows. For the background, I kept it really washy, really loose, because I really wanted the emphasis to be on the spears. And I really liked how the spears were turning out the little um, kind of flowery heads of asparagus. I, I like asparagus, but it isn't necessarily my favorite of the vegetables. And I don't grow asparagus in my garden because it takes forever to grow. You can grow asparagus from a seed, but it takes at least three years to fully mature. And so you need to kind of associate it more with like investing in like berry bushes or like fruit trees rather than like a vegetable plant because like bell peppers and beans, you plant it, it grows within like a month and then you harvest it within a couple months. That's not how asparagus is. <laughs> asparagus, if you plant it, it's going to take at least three years. But once it does mature, it will produce a good amount, but you will need from what I've seen five to ten plants per person. And so with like a family of four, like mine, that's 40 plants you know like that's a lot and that's a long time to wait for asparagus that's not the most favorite i personally like eating asparagus grilled in the summertime it's like a special treat just season with some salt and pepper and some olive oil and put on the grill for a little bit until it's like al dente tender but not mushy So back to our painting here. This is a rather small size painting. Um, so I'm having to use kind of small brushes, but before going into this, when I was doing the sketches and everything like that, the idea was that the shadows would be cool and the highlights would be a little bit warmer. What that means is basically the shadows will have more blue while the highlights will have more yellow and red. I wasn't going for a true to life coloring, more of a fun interpretation. The really what, what I was focusing on with these and what I hope to focus on with all of them is enjoying the process rather than making something phenomenal and amazing at the end. Not thinking about how it's looking and oh my goodness, this isn't looking good. The final product is gonna be bad. I should just stop at this point. It's being in that moment and just enjoying the painting. <laughs> enjoying creating, enjoying mixing the colors and dipping the brush and all the, the parts that just go into painting. I started adding gouache to kind of bring in some of the highlights. Watercolor, true watercolor is transparent. So you have to work backwards where you work from your lightest, which is your white paper, and then keep adding darks and darks and darks. Whereas with other paints like acrylic and oil, you can kind of work back and forth because some of the paints are opaque. Now I like to combine gouache in with watercolors because gouache is opaque. So once I have my painting done, I can go in, I can add those really fine highlights. Gouache isn't great for doing like washes of highlight because of the opacity on it. You'll kind of just wash it out completely and kind of lose all of your details. So really I think it's only good for those really tiny, tiny little highlights.
so it was around here where I started to wonder if I was done or not. Should I keep adding? Should I keep going, adding detail? I kept depth, putting, adding depth, adding some darker lines in there to kind of differentiate between the spears, going in and adding more and more gouache, making it more and more green. Um, I was just in my own head a lot with the idea of like, well, is this good? Does it look good? If I post this to Instagram, will people like it? If I post it to Facebook, will people like it? You know, I kept thinking about how other people would perceive it. I knew that I was recording it, obviously, my camera was right there, but nobody had seen it yet. There was no guarantee that anybody would see it. And I kept just adding and adding and thinking, well, am I done yet? Well, no, let me add this. Am I done yet? No, let me add this. And finally, after I added a little bit of blue, a little bit of red to the bottom, I decided I was done. And so I went ahead and removed the tape. Once I had removed the tape and I actually got to look at it in different lighting and different angles from where I was just sitting, I actually really, really liked how it turned out. And I, I realized that it doesn't matter what the end product of these paintings. Nobody is commissioning me to paint, to paint these. These are just for me. And I enjoyed painting it so much that the end product, I could light this thing on fire for all I care because what I got from it is the process.